Right, okay. Uh, what do I know? Um, yeah, this is a little bit of information uh, that was passed on to me. Um, uh, I live in Scotland and uh, I have a dog. Uh, not that that's a kind of big thing or an important thing, but uh, we go for lots of walks and uh, we get a lot of uh, uh, ticks in the grass and the dog gets a lot of ticks. And occasionally uh, I get ticks and or, or, or you know, people I'm with get ticks and uh, we've got this little tick remover which is like a little sort of prong thing that you, that you know what it looks like. It's kind of horrible little creature uh, that jumps on you and uh, usually on your legs and uh, burrows its head into your skin to drink your blood. And uh, yeah, they, uh, they're they very small when they jump on and then they get very large when they fill it with blood and that's when they look really horrible. Uh, but actually that's when you can get them with the the tick remover, which is this little fork thing, and you slide it under their bodies, their fat, engorged bodies, and their little legs, and uh, and then twist it round, and it pulls their head out, and uh, great, that's that's fine. But occasionally, uh, you get the old tick, you can't get out like that, uh, and uh, you, not everybody has these little special forks on them. I mean, I have one because I have a dog, but. Um, yeah, if you haven't got one of those things, then you do find yourself in the long grass and you find yourself with a tick when you get home. Uh, someone told me that a great way of getting rid of them uh, that's not too invasive, because you don't want to kind of try and pull them out in case the head comes off and you leave it inside your skin and it gets infected and then it's all kind of horrible. So the best thing to do is get some uh, butter or some olive oil and you rub it on the back on the kind of little fat bit on the back that's full of blood because they actually breathe through their backs when their head is inside you so they suddenly can't breathe if you if the, the olive oil or the, the butter uh, blocks up their uh, breathing holes and so they have to take their head out and that's when they fall off Ta -da! how to get rid of a tick very easily there you go